Hello and welcome to vlog number 70. This week I'm going to talk about the misdiagnosis of Parkinson's disease and other neurological conditions which share symptoms of PD. A quick search online found an article on www.theguardian.com dated 28th of June 2006 which claims that almost 50% of all Parkinson's cases are misdiagnosed that only 4% of GPs, the common or garden family doctor, have any expertise in the field, and 20% of them fail to refer patients suspected of having it to a specialist straight away and treat them themselves despite having very little experience of the condition. Their lack of experience leads to patients being incorrectly diagnosed, being prescribed incorrect medication and having delays in being given the correct treatment. New guidance issued by the National Institute for Clinical Excellence stipulates that patients shouldn't be diagnosed by GPs but referred to a specialist within six weeks, two weeks for those who present at the later stages of the disease. But this is still reliant upon your family doctor realising or suspecting that you have such a condition in the first place. An article published in 2016 on www.abc.net.au claims that the misdiagnosis rate is 25% which is still a pretty big number. To muddy the waters, there are a number of neurological conditions which share the symptoms of PD and which may be mistaken for Parkinson's, or for which Parkinson's may be mistaken. I'm going to talk about a few of the commonly known conditions, but please be aware that this list is by no means exhaustive. There are many others. In my case, my Parkinson's was misdiagnosed as benign essential tremor, which, my GP told me, means you have a tremor but we don't know why. This is a progressive condition that presents as a tremor in the hands and arms on both sides of the body, and occasionally the head. Unlike PD, the tremor doesn't affect the legs and responds to different drugs. Multiple system atrophy, also known as Scheidrager syndrome, is a rapidly progressive condition which initially presents with symptoms such as dizziness, bladder control issues and impotence, which are then followed by PD symptoms like tremor, postural instability and gait problems, rigidity and slowness of movement or bradykinesia. There is some speculation that MSA may be a form of Parkinson's disease, but at the moment it is considered to be a separate condition. Progressive supranuclear palsy is a condition that causes serious problems with balance, walking and eye movement. Additionally, there are a variety of symptoms which may mimic dementia and Parkinson's, such as muscular rigidity, cognitive decline, depression and anxiety, sleep disturbance and speech and swallowing problems. People with PSP do not respond to Parkinson's medications and the speed of disease progression sets it apart from BD. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease, also known as motor neurone disease, or MND, early signs of which are walking difficulties, tripping and falling, muscular weakness, muscle cramps and twitching in arms, shoulders and tongue, slurred speech and swallowing problems. Multiple sclerosis has a wide variety of symptoms, many of which are also common to Parkinson's, including balance and gait problems, cognitive symptoms, constipation, depression, sleep issues, speech and swallowing difficulties, tremor and muscular weakness. And the list of incurable progressive neurological conditions goes on and on and on. I feel lucky to only have PD when I read about all of the other conditions that it could have been. My mother said when I told her that my father had terminal cancer, I'm glad that mine is Parkinson's. And reading about all of these other illnesses, I can only agree, although obviously I'd rather not have Parkinson's either. I now have a better appreciation of the difficulties involved in making a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease, and also diagnoses of all the other progressive neurological conditions that have so many symptoms in common. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.